Seriously, how does Pedro Pascal play the sickest, most disarming and intimidating characters in Game of Thrones, Star Wars, and Narcos, and show up for every interview looking like the guy you forgot has been crashing on your couch for the last three weeks? One stolen joke is a coincidence, two stolen jokes is a mistake, three stolen jokes is a pattern, 30 stolen jokes is an Amy Schumer special. Ooh, all facts, no printer. Has she done any live shows after getting exposed for that? I don't think she has, or at least I haven't looked into any shows that she's done. But, oh man, you really had to air her out on a YouTube comment? Oh no, nah, this is too raw. Some of y'all real brave thinking not being a sex worker makes you better. You send nudes and for free, and in turn, you get left on red. Congratulations? You're a non-profit organization. <laughs> I have never heard of such a thing. A non-profit organization. That, I'm stealing that. That's a good one. That's so universal. Just imagine whipping that comeback out at any moment. Just like someone calls you a bitch and you're like, well, you throw it back for free. You're a non-profit organization. That will make somebody cry. Unexpected item and bagging area. It's not unexpected, you digital f You literally just told me what it is. It's right there on the screen. I did the wavy wave, you did the bleepy bleep, until the point where you decided to have an electronic stroke, things are going exactly according to plan. Oh, wait, what do you mean that you haven't been programmed right? Nah, that's a you problem. Don't go putting this on me. Like, I've somehow gone out of my way to surprise you. I've got places to be, man. I can't be playing hide the actual salami with the Terminator's younger, shittier cousin. Oh, now you've sent for backup? Well done! Now I have to deal with a human person who thinks I'm either an imbecile or a thief for not being able to work what's effectively a bathroom scale with delusions of grandeur for the fourth time. Does Sani water taste like it's been inside a water gun all day? It really does. It's like refined pool water. It's the world's worst, but it's the only water ever sold at amusement parks or at state fairs. And there's a reason for that, because Dasani water has salt in it and it makes you drink more because you're not actually being hydrated. So as a result, it makes you buy more Dasani. Those sneaky motherfuck. I'm so bored. I need a little toxicity. Have you tried looking within? It's only two words. It's only two. But hey, who said a good insult had to be complex? Would you say that my chin beard is working? It's working in the terms of keeping me a lesbian. I don't know who told Jack Dorsey that growing that giant beard is a good look for him. Actually, no, I'm gonna retool that statement. I don't think anybody told him that growing that chin beard is actually good. I just think that he genuinely lost his mind because he's the CEO of fucking Twitter. What's a gender neutral word that you could use for your spouse? Wasbind? Hyph? Wifespind? I may be stupid. Yeah, you sure are, because this is the text version of looking for your glasses while they're on your head. Well, they can't be that dumb. At least they're smart enough to know that they're stupid. Would you rather find one cent on the ground or watch Jake Paul videos? Wow, what a shocking result. I seriously would never have called it. I mean, we all know that Jake Paul's content is just the best on the platform. I'm almost certain if you were to take her brain out and put it inside of a bird's head, it would fly backwards. I'm really happy to know that YouTube comments have not diminished in quality. What, the platform's like 16 years old now? And insult comments, specifically, have not lost their sting. Jimmy Fallon is basically like five squirrels operating a human suit. Seriously, Jimmy Fallon has the personality of an anthropomorphic golden retriever. Personally, I would love to see Jimmy Fallon interview Jimmy Fallon. What a show that would be. Just him interrupting himself, interrupting himself, laughing forcibly, and slapping his desk. Looks like we got ourselves a super fan. <laughs> Three back-to-back -back comments about Jimmy Fallon, all of them just being perfect. The first one getting nearly 10,000 likes, Jesus Christ. Post Malone has mastered the art of looking rich and homeless at the same time. Yeah, he definitely has that aesthetic. He definitely has the rambling meth head aesthetic. And you know what? It's made him a millionaire. I'm tired of you talking about my mom, fam. What you gonna do about it? Cry? You gonna cry? No, no, I'm just gonna unbullpup your aug. How about that? How about that, bitch? Oh, oh God, there's a picture. Oh, it's so ugly. It's, it, it's awful. Why would anybody create such a thing? I swear, unholy creations like this only ever exist in Brandon Herrera's nightmares. I would take you to the movies, but they don't allow snacks in. Damn, <laughs> but why snacks? <laughs> what? Huh? Is your head just for decoration? <laughs> why? 
damn, this one's fucked up. This one. <laughs> I've seen white crayons more useful than you. Oh, man. This one's just cruel. Like, what type of situation would warrant such a phrase? Things in my European house that don't make sense in America. Reusable kitchen towels so we don't- Oh, don't mind me just strolling by to flex my Glock 40 and AC unit, because you don't have that shit. She trying to call us a third world country? Bitch, you got free healthcare and your teeth still throwing up gang signs. How is the top half of your jaw BD, but the lower half is GD? She really thinks you get radiation from using a microwave. Having a tea kettle is not a flex, bro. God damn, you Europeans and your tea kettles are like New Yorkers and their bacon, egg, and cheese. Everybody can fucking have that shit. Anyways, have fun getting robbed with a katana. I hope your tea kettle saves you then. When you created a dwarf character and put all points in strength, how is this possible? No, no, this can't be a real person. This has to be one of those, those AI images. This person cannot look like Beaker from the Muppets. No, this can't happen. And for as much as Reddit is cringe and just crappy, this is why I like it. Because people just point out some of the crazy shit. He does look like Beaker from the Muppets. He does. Just simply. And he looks like he sells meth too. That guy's approximate life expectancy is tomorrow around lunchtime. I've seen this image all over the internet, right? And I've never known the story behind it. And I don't quite know how to look for it either, because if you search up orgasm donor, you get a whole lot of porn. <laughs> you try your Some of y'all is the reason why shampoo has instructions. My three-year-old is not vaccinated, and there's currently a measles outbreak in my state. Any suggestions for precautions I can take to protect her would be very much appreciated. It's simple. You take a handful of rose petals, crush them with some rosemary, and rub a purified crystal on it under a full moon. And then you take that, sell it to some idiot, and use the money to pay for a damn measles vaccine. Pokemon literally looks, sounds, and acts like a default character. Tell me why you called an emergency meeting or I'll boil your toes. Pour sand in your ears and turn your skull inside out. Aw, I'm happy to know that Among Us is keeping up the tradition of verbal abuse in chat. It's just amazing. I really hope that this continues, to be honest, because um, it really adds to the game. Well, 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 if it ain't the magic, <clears throat> no one better upvote this or I'll molest your goldfish. Well, I guess a lot of people either hate their goldfish or have a really awful fetish. Not really feeling a date, to be honest. Well, why not? Okay, honestly, you seem like the kid who tells the teacher she forgot to pass out the homework. So I'm a bigger woman, and this guy tells me, Oh, I'm not interested in talking to you because of your size. I was like, it's okay, honey. You obviously don't have the right tools for the job anyway, so I'll just go find somebody with better equipment that can handle it. <laughs> Well, this is a 53 cubic yard rock bucket. Again, the machine has a total hoist capacity of 80 tons. To put this in perspective, the 53 cubic yard capacity is equivalent to about five normal dump trucks that you might see going up and down the road. Well, the problem is like, I always get nervous talking to cute boys. Wait, really? I mean, maybe that's why you're so easy to talk to. <laughs> wow, you and your Pokemon somehow resemble one another. <laughs> European culture is hating on all other European nations. Like, yeah, we're at peace, we're cooperating, no tensions or anything, but if I ever have to talk to a goddamn Belgian... Yeah, you just mad that waffles are greater than windmills. I will annex you! Yo, homie, if bong water was a person... Oh! <laughs> oh, the green hair is not helping. <laughs> Well, that's it. The competition is officially over. Uh, an entire month has gone by. We've had 600 people sign up. We've had nearly 200 submissions. It's crazy, and it's a big, it just, just a big thank you to all those who participated. Seriously, every single one of the submissions I enjoyed. I really liked seeing all the different art styles. I liked seeing what everybody wants the channel to be, like what their personal vision of the channel is, and it's, it's awesome. It's just a great community activity, and I'm happy to say that it was a success. So maybe we'll be able to do something like this again in the future, and if we can, it'll, I, I know that it won't blow up. So that's awesome. That's awesome. And yeah, let's just cut to the chase. There's going to be a live stream this Thursday, February 25th, 
where we go over like the top 10 banner submissions and the top, you know, uh, intro submissions. And then we get to choose who's the winner. And uh, I know a lot of you guys are poised to find out if you won the money, if you are the king of this of this channel, of this first competition. And uh, yeah, I'm going to make you wait because I'm, I'm cool like that. And we have to actually go through <laughs> all the submissions. So yeah, uh, I'm sorry that you have to wait a couple more days. Just got to make sure that we can get through everything, give everybody a fair chance, a fair review. And yeah, hopefully, if you submitted, you won. Because that's awesome. You can buy cool things with money, I heard. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know those are the plans. Hope to see you there on the live stream. And yeah, as always, stay zesty!